The topic that we're discussing is unfair labour and some of the challenges of unfair labour and how we can help eradicate unfair labour as well. Unfair labour is clearly a very big issue across the Asia region. One thing that we know is that job creation and bringing people more work doesn't necessarily bring people out of poverty and increasing work can sometimes put more people into poverty. The other thing that we know and that we support is that job migration is a good thing. One of the things that we know in this subject of unfair labour is that as people work in other countries and that as jobs are created, these jobs have got to be good, fair jobs. People cannot be put in dangerous situations or in compromising situations. That means their, their life could be threatened. In eradicating unfair labour, business has a huge responsibility. Businesses have to understand that this is not just a, a good way of doing business, it's the way they have to do business. Businesses have to look at every single stage of the supply chain, not only maybe where they're getting products from, but how are those products or services acquired, right down the whole chain. And they have to really look closely at that. It's not just enough to have a corporate social responsibility strategy or to have a document or a process. They have to audit that and they have to continually measure that and they have to ask questions at every stage of the process. If they're uncertain or unsure as to whether labor has been procured in a safe and honest way, if they're unsure about that, they cannot buy or they cannot source in that way. Consumers also have a very important role to play. They, like business, have to closely look at where products that they're buying have come from. They have to investigate, they have to ask more questions. We live in the age of the internet where it's very easy to find out information. It's very easy to look at forums and discussion groups that may question where products have come from and may question how people that were producing those products, what sort of environment they worked in. Uh, were they in a safe environment or were they in something much, much worse, as worse as human trafficking?